Hey everybody and welcome to our tip of the week. This week we're going to have a great time. We're going to look at the beginning piano passage from Someone Like You by Adele. Everyone's heard this part. It's a wonderful part. It's actually surprisingly easy to play. Just a few chords. And something crazy going on. The right hand is playing 16th notes. And in case you don't know how to count 16th notes, I'll, when we get close up, I'll give you a really easy way to count those. And the left hand is moving whole notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, nothing crazy there. So we'll take a close look at that and see exactly what both hands are doing. I've also included below the video a transcription of the, of the chords you'll need if you want to tackle the whole song. And actually, there's still simple chords like A and E. That's why I always love chords. Just a handful of chords, you can play so many songs that are out there. And there's a few more that are included below the video. So let's get into it. Let's see close up what's going on. So let's take a closer look at these four chords. We're going to break it down with each hand. We're going to start with the right hand. And you notice that this pattern is all in 16th notes. That means there are four notes for each quarter note. So the way we count that is we do 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E. E. It makes 16th notes a lot easier to count. And that's going to sound like this. So there we have the right hand. And now we're going to bring in and just practice the left hand. Left hand's pretty easy actually. It's going in whole notes. And if you remember, whole notes last for four beats. So starting in measure one, one, two, three, four, 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 and one. And looking at the second measure, just to go over what a slash chord means. Here we see a C sharp minor slash G sharp. What that slash G sharp means is that G sharp is going to be the lowest note. The chord we have in our right hand is a C sharp minor or above the bass note. But that bass note, that slash note is what they're asking for us to put as the lowest note. In this case, our pinky. And that's what gives it that really nice sound. A, the bass line, G sharp, and then F sharp. So I listened to the recording a little while ago and it sounds about 64 beats per minute. And I have my metronome set here at just about 64. I remember the one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and. There's our slash chord. And of course, when you practice it, you can definitely repeat it. And that's the riff that you're going to play when you sing your first verse. And there's really not a lot to it. It's actually quite simple. Keep in mind, we are in A major. That means there are three sharps in the key signature. So every F, C, and G that you see is automatically going to be sharped because that's the key that we're in. And let's try it one more time without the metronome. Let's play it together. One, two, three, four. Great sound, great job. Hope you had a blast with that. Again, this is another case of a few simple chords, great songwriting, and you just have this amazing song that's so much fun to play, to sing, and actually not that technically difficult to achieve. So again, hope you guys had a great time, and I'll see you next week.